degree Celsius is 17.5 mm Hg millimeter mercury unit of pressure, right? A solution of sucrose is prepared by dissolving 60.4 gram of sucrose in 1000 gram of water calculate vapor pressure of solution. We are only going to for last statement is calculate vapor pressure of solution. Calculate vapor pressure of solution. This we want to find out P1, not P10. Because vapor pressure of solution is we find out. Is it clear? Then we can analyze the experimentation. Then question is clear. Which is solute and which is solvent in the experiment? Look at the question. A solution of sucrose is prepared by dissolving 60 gram of sucrose in 1000 gram of water. In the beginning of the chapter, we already discussed the smaller amount of substance is said to be solute and larger amount of substance is said to be solvent. So, sucrose is the solute because it is having only 68.4 gram. The given mass of sucrose is 68.4 gram, which is dissolved in 1000 gram of water. 1000 gram of water indicates the solvent. So clear, given mass of solute, that is how much sucrose is added here. Sucrose is the solute, so W is the given mass, W2 equal to 68.4 gram. Right. 68.4 gram of sucrose is under 1000 gram of water indicates 1000 gram of water is the solvent weight, given weight of solvent, that is W1 equal to 1000 gram. Both terms are clear. W2 is the given mass of solute and W1 is the given mass of solvent. That is 68.4 gram of solute is and the 1000 gram of water to form the sucrose solutions. Okay. The vapor pressure of pure water at 20 degree Celsius is 17.5 mhg. The vapor pressure of pure water water is the Solvent, therefore, the vapor pressure of pure water is the term P10. Therefore, P10 is given. P10 is equal to vapor pressure of pure water. This before making the experiment, we are having the vapor pressure P10 as 70.5 mmHg. mmHg is millimeter mercury, which is a unit of pressure, vapor pressure. So, then what are the another terms if you want to find out? There is no other terms given in the question. But we should know the two terms as well, that is M2 and M1, we have to be calculated. What is the term M? It is molecular mass. First of all, molecular mass of solute. What is solute here? It is solute here. Sucrose. What is the chemical formula of sucrose? C12, huh. H22SO11, correct? C12, H22O11 is the molecular mass of Molecular formula of sucrose. I think we have discussed these kind of things in plus one standard. In the first chapter, some basic concepts of chemistry, right? So, the molecular formula of sucrose C12 H22O11. So, we want to rearrange the terms. That is, how many carbons? 12 carbons. 12 into 12. Plus how many hydrogen? 22. 22 into 1. Plus how many oxygen? 11. 11 into 16. You know that calculations, right? To get 342 gram per mole. 342 gram per mole is the molecular mass of sucrose. You want to calculate this in your notebook. C12, 12 carbon. One carbon having the atomic mass 12, that is 12 into 12 plus. How many hydrogen? 22. One hydrogen atomic mass 1, so 22 into 1. Plus, how many oxygen? 11 oxygen. One oxygen atomic base 16, that is 11 into 16. Add you about 342. You know, uh, you know, 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 so, we can determine the molecular mass. How many hydrogen? 2 hydrogen is 2 into 1. Plus, how many oxygen? H2O, 1 oxygen. 1 into 16. So, 2 plus 16, 18 gram per mole. So, W2, W1, M2, M1, P10. You can easily find out P1 using which expression? Expression P10 minus P1 divided by 
equal to W2 into M1 divided by M2 into W1. We want to find out the term P1. So first of all we want to analyze the terms. It is P10 minus P1 equal to. You can multiply the P10 with the right. It is P10 into W2 M1 divided by M2 W1. We want to find out the term P1. So P1 above shift here, E term above shift here. Above we have the expression for P1 equal to. Hello, okay. This P1 is the upper one. It is P1 mathur. E term is the above shift here. Above equation is changed. P1 equal to. P1 above shift here. P1 equal to. This is the upper one. P1 above shift here. It is P1 zero one. It is P1 zero. Okay. Above shift here. P1 zero one. It is P1 zero. Okay. This term, this above shift here, negative. It is P1 zero minus P1 zero into W2 M1 divided by M2 W1. Clear away? First P10 minus P1 by P10 equal to W2 M1 by M2 W1. And P10 is P1. P1 is the number of So, that term of right to P10 minus P1. So, P10 is the shift to P10 into W2 M1 by M2 W1. P1 is the number of right to P1. Power and delivery is the same. So, we have the RHS shift here. So, P1 can be shift to RHS. That is P1 equal to P10 minus P1. P10 W2 M1 divided by M2 W1 We are having all the term values So we can substitute to get And so I think 17.4 17.4 So we need meter This is the correct answer we are getting 17.4 so something like that This might be your answer The procedure is clear Ok First of all from the question We want to analyze all the terms and the meters then we are applying the expression P10 minus P1 by P10 equal to W2 M1 by M2 W1 P10 vapor pressure of pure solvent P1 vapor pressure solution Here in this question we want to find out vapor pressure solution So P10 is in the given form So M2, what is M2? Molecular mass of solute Here the solute is sucrose So molecular formula is C2 H2 O11 to get pay for this then M1, what is M1? Molecular mass of solvent, here solvent is water, so 18. W1, weight of solvent, 1000 gram water. W2, weight of sucrose, weight of solute, 16.4 gram sucrose. So, we can find out P1 using the expression. The answer will be 17 point something. 17.4 millimeter mercury is the correct answer. Is it clear? That is about the topic. The relate the lowering of vapor pressure and the corresponding problem sections. Is it clear? Okay.